Tech giants are the winners of the coronavirus crisis and should pay more tax, Europe official says. Here's a summary of the article. Big tech has to pay a fair amount of taxes in Europe, especially as they are the real winners of the coronavirus crisis, a top European official told CNBC Saturday. His comments come amid an ongoing rift between the United States and the European Union over the taxation of companies such as Apple, Alphabet and Amazon. In 2018, the European Commission, the executive arm of the EU, proposed a 3% digital levy, arguing that the tax system needed to be updated for the digital age. The White House said a digital tax was unfair as it disproportionately impacted American firms. At the time, the European Commission said digital companies, on average, pay an effective tax rate of 9.5% compared to 23.2% for traditional businesses. The giants of the digital platforms are the real winners of this crisis, from the economical point of view, Gentiloni added. If we will not have decent results at the global level, the European Commission will come out next year with our own a proposal, Gentiloni said. This post received a score of 25,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I know COVID was just a way to sell Microsoft Teams. Ah. So that's how Bill Gates is connected to it. We need to connect the dots on 5G next. They need more bandwidth for video conferencing. Please please just make it so they actually pay a normal tax rate on electricity. At least in the Netherlands we have regressive tax on electricity, to the point where domestic users pay four times more than data centers for the same KWH. This is idiotic. And I say this while working for a huge colo reseller. Please make us pay a normal amount of tax. I would guess that the reason for the difference is price elasticity. You are not going to move to a different country because of electricity costs. A data center would. Don't forget quantity. It is the same reason why 5 kg of rice is, per gram, cheaper than a 1 kg of rice, or why a 600 ml can of soda can be almost the price of a 2L1, but in a massive scale. Sure, the government should work to reduce the price for the voters, but the data center isn't paying for a house one quarter of the price. It is because it is paying the equivalent over 100 houses that it gets to reduce the cost. Overclock your Minecraft server to use the same amount of KWH a data center does and I'm sure they'd be interested in cutting you a discount. Cost-wise, power generation actually works opposite that. The cheapest methods get used first, and the more power needed the more expensive methods get used. They can turn down the generation at a costly coal oil plant to save some cash. I suspect this is a sweetheart deal to keep local jobs. I suspect that this is also due to the fact that generators run more efficiently at a given load. This is correct. UK started taxing Google more heavily and Google in turn charged UK advertisers more to cover the tax. It will generate more tax revenue that's for sure but let's not pretend like the money is going to come from the tech giants directly. You mean unlike the tax money that other companies pay cause they don't include that in their pricing? Companies like Google have very few competitors so imposing a tax does not make them less competitive. If competition was heavier, it would force them to somewhat reduce profits to stay competitive. Instead, the entire cost is probably going to be absorbed by local advertisers. Companies like Google still have competition from traditional advertising outlets, TV, radio, print media, when it comes to advertising. If they put their pricing up too much then those will become more competitive again. Right now though Google is in a privileged position where they can keep their prices lower than traditional outlets because they're evading tax. Same is true for companies like Amazon. They can offer super competitive prices cause they hardly pay tax. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.